Good afternoon, St. Matthews, and welcome into Noon Prayer on this Tuesday of what now is the, let's see, the ninth week. I believe that's correct. The ninth week after Pentecost. Wow, time is really flying. An order of service for Noonday begins on page 103 in your Books of Common Prayer. O oh God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Now continuing at the bottom of page 103, let us read together a portion of Psalm 119, and let's read that together in unison. Your word is a lantern to my feet, and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now, continuing on the bottom of page 105, the love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. A reading from Romans. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, dear ones, I invite your intercessions, your thanksgivings, your petitions, your requests. We pray for Joe, our president, Kamala, our vice president. We pray for Kay, our governor, Paul, our mayor, we pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, Glenda and Brian, our diocesan bishops. We pray for Father Sam, Father Steve, for Reverend Mary Ann. We pray for Lynn, our deacon, and Karen, our postulant for holy orders. Let us continue with our practice of praying for five. Veronica Hollins, Chris and Bonnie Howard, Ellen Hudson, Charlotte and Kevin Hunt, Matthew James. Okay, dear ones, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for our noon Eucharist that will be occurring right here in the nave, as it does every Wednesday. Until then, let us bless the Lord. Amen.